Hi roboticist, today I'm gonna give you an intuitive method to command the end factor of your robot and in particular with Universal Robot 5 and this will be very useful for any industrial application because for example in a pick and place application you need to code a universal kinematic pathway that tells the end factor to reach a certain position um, and orientation in order to grasp uh, the object uh, correctly and the command to place in uh, another position in a certain orientation. So this will be a key for understanding how to program a robot and it will be a step forward of your journey in being a robotic software engineer. So before to start make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you don't, not, don't want to miss the next topic and if you want to start your robotic software engineering pathway or you have simply a um, problem in deploying uh, your robotic application feel free to reach me out uh, via email I'm gonna put uh, the link in the description down below and then we can book a totally free a call uh, so I'm gonna figure it out if I can solve your problem now let's jump into the topic of today In the last video, what we have seen is uh, uh, to install the Universal Robot package that is composed by these other packages. And the most important thing are the Universal Robot Gazebo, Universal Description, and then the UR5 Move It configurations. So, the moment, uh, let's launch the demo launch file that uh, I remember to you that uh, contains uh, the Movit uh, plugin. First of all, this is our robot. This is, uh, our, uh, this is composed by some links and some joints. And the most important thing is that if you want to command the end factor that is placed here, you need uh, to uh, code and uh, uh, to give as inverse kinematics algorithm the orientation and the position of your end effector with the reference of the base link where everything starts. So the first things that you need to do is uh, first of all uh, to visualize the uh, links. So in order to do that, we are gonna get the help of the transform function embedded in ROS. So this is all the links of uh, our robots. But the most important thing that we need uh, to uh, take into account are only two frames. The base link and where the end effector is. So I run uh, through the uh, URDF file and in particular if you're gonna use the uh, Universal Robot uh, Gazebo description that you download uh, to the GitHub, the end effector is placed to tool zero. Okay, so here we go. Remember that you need to know over the time where uh, the tool zero is compared to the base link. And you can see here that the frame here in X, Y and Z is different for the tool here. So we have some kind of transla uh, translation and rotation. And in order to get those, we are gonna 
um, ask the help of an embedded function in ROS, which is very useful and is going to be transform. So, if you, we run into the ROS topic, we're going to see this topic transform. So, what we're going to do is to run the transform, in particular the function transform echo, and then we need to give the, the, the reference of the base, that in this case is going to be base link, and then the link where your end factor is supposed to be. And for this particular case, it's going to be tool zero. Okay, so now you are going to um, see what is in the real time the position, the translation, and the orientation of this uh, end factor. So you're going to have. For example, transition 0.8 in x, so this is the x coordinate and this is 0, uh, 0.8. Then y, this is the y uh, coordinate and it's going to be 0 0.2, uh, let's say. Okay, we are here. And in z, we're going to see 0. So if you want to check the z coordinate, Okay, it's uh, precise. So meaning that uh, at least uh, for the um, uh, translation, so where the tool zero is uh, translated to the base link is correct. And then for the rotation, we are gonna have this in quaternions or in, in radians uh, in given in uh, row, pitch and yaw. So this is the value. So what if uh, we want uh, to deploy a pick and place application where the object is going to be here and we want to pick uh, from the top? Okay, so let's suppose uh, that we have uh, an object in this position and uh, we want to um, a pick up from the top. So we should uh, put uh, the end factor on the top. Okay, it's gonna be something like that. Okay, and then we can run this uh, uh, path planning, and at the same time, we are gonna see that. Uh, um, the uh, translation and the orientation is changing. So here, this is important, we are going to see that the tool zero related to the base link has this coordinate in translation and this uh, changing in uh, the rotation, in raw pitch and yaw. So, what we can do is to pass this value in our uh, inverse kinematic algorithm to check if we reach this position here. So what I can do is to uh, copy and paste just to have a reference in our uh, Cobot uh, inverse kinematics uh, package. We have already uh, built up uh, this. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below. And then we are going uh, to uh, modify the target position. So I'm gonna put this uh, translation and this uh, orientation in raw pitch and yaw.
Okay, it's done. So remember that uh, we want uh, to get uh, this position. So let's test it. Okay, we have built our package correctly. So let's uh, launch a game, the demo don't demo launch file with uh, our RVs uh, move it uh, plugin. Here we are. Then uh, what we want to run is this code. the one that we have just modified. Here's a very important thing here. Now you can see that we have the reference frame based link and the reference frame tool zero. And that this is what we have uh, detected uh, before. So as you can see here, we have reached correctly the position that we have set up manually before. I can suggest you that if you have a uh, new URDF file and uh, you don't want uh, uh, to uh, have a deep dive into your URDF to check where the uh, end effector actually is, what you can do is to run just this code uh, just to run the uh, move group uh, interface and then uh, you are gonna see when you run this inverse kinematic code, code where are the reference of the base link and the end effector. So in our case um, was the tool zero. So then feel free uh, to, uh, to play uh, around with it. So if I run uh, the uh, transform echo uh, of the base link compared to the tool zero where then the factor actually is you can uh, see uh, that uh, if you change the position for example you wanna go uh, you wanna change the orientation something like that and then if you keep this ongoing, uh, you plan and then the uh, transform echo makes uh, his work. So it's going to tell you where the end effector in terms of uh, translation and rotation in quaternions, radiant and degree is uh, compared to the base link. Okay, that's all for today. I hope uh, that this video was uh, useful for you. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and if uh, uh, you have uh, some problem in deploying uh, your robotic application, uh, feel free to reach me out uh, uh, via email and um, we can schedule an appointment uh, uh, for free. Thanks for your attention and as always, keep learning robotics with Ross.